Welcome back friends. It has been quite a journey wherein we have been talking about several aspects of this mesmerizing world of integrated marketing communication. We tried to analyze things with the perspective of a consumer and several other elements, but that specific, that specific element I wanted to remind you of because here there is a direct chord which we are going to touch upon with reference to the research associated with integrated marketing communication. How, how is it relevant? We all know that, but how to go along with that? Why specifically should we be conducting and what are those times when we would be conducting or should be conducting those kind of researches which give relevance to our efforts in integrated marketing communication that is the point of concentration today and in you know the subsequent session as well. So, here comes the association of research with integrated marketing communication. It is a, it's a broader outlay and I would strongly recommend for you to go through several sources including the book which we have been referring to and otherwise uh, methodologies which are available through several kinds of sources to strengthen your understanding of research and relevance of research in integrated marketing communication. So, you see it is natural to think, find, analyze and conclude. It is more or less you know it, it the process accompanies whatever we are going through. Why? Why it is relevant in terms of integrated marketing communication? The most important element which is there for us to understand is the kind of efforts which we make for a communication to reach to the customer. And you see the most important element which uh, we must realize and which we have referred to when we were talking about the role of advertising agencies in integrated marketing communication, the kind of uh, the types of work they do, the kinds of assignments they get involved in, the types of agencies when we refer to, you, you, you must be remembering we referred to WPP and Omnicom and these kind of groups and we talked about advertising history also. And then just revisit those videos and you would realize that uh, the kind of you know entirety which is required for one single communication to reach to the customers the kind of humongous task, if you will just keep on counting the number of people which uh, who get involved in uh, you know this kind of thing basically, you would realize there are n number of people with different kinds of tasks associated. So, looking at that kind of an effort wherein so many people have to be engaged, one must be slightly sure of you know kind of what, what we are doing, what we are up to actually. Otherwise, we will keep on trying and uh, it might work or might not work and, and uh, then it would be uh, a waste plus financial resources. I will be talking of other resources as well, but financial resources. It requires when, when there are so many people and so many agencies and so much of work is involved in, in designing and defining one communication and you know and then we make it because we desire an impact. If it does not work, then it would be not only a waste, but what we will be doing, we will be generating a gap for others to come in. Because you see, so many people are trying to reach out to the same customer at the same time and that we have talked about several times up till now. We have mentioned it in, in due course of time, you know, we, because uh, the, you see we, we uh, talked about ad clutter, we talked about message clutter and so on. And then we talked about so many uh, modes which are being used. We talked about how mobile communication or, or mobile is being used as a very prominent mode of communications to reach to the customers and so on. So, if we do not do it right or I should not say that we cannot be, uh, we, we can be right every time, but, but if we do not try to do it right, then waste of efforts energy of so many people with, with, with uh, in, in so many capacities, finance which is a very big part and it is cost 
remember we talked about costs in budget. So, costs and several kinds of costs plus generating a scope for the customer to look for the similar kind of a product by someone else because you would click something in his mind and on the other side as I said several people are targeting the same customer. So, so this is the most important reason for us to think, find, analyze and conclude and that is what about all about integrated marketing communication research. You would have heard of marketing research, you would have heard of research, research methodologies and so on. You would have gone through several kinds of courses, but here we are referring to IMC research. So, just to give you a gist of you know any research that helps in development, execution or evaluation of integrated marketing communication. Now again uh, it is it's a uh, you know very important element for us to look into development of communication again what is to be said that depends upon what people want to listen to what do they want to hear about do they do they want to get connected to a, a manufacturer or a product emotionally if they if they do then definitely you have to think in terms of generating an emotional advertisement but who is going to tell you that they want emotions as far as the communication goes have you seen those beautiful advertisements by several products like Tanishk touching the cords of you know people associating storyboards with festivals, occasions, legacy and so on wherein you know some mother is handing over the legacy of a jewelry to her daughter or daughter in law that kind of a thing basically touching the cord of people. How, how did they know that people want to look into you know look look at such kind of messages and, and people would get associated with such kind of messages kind of. Have you, have you seen uh, recent advertisements uh, related to Paralympics for example? Have you, have you seen and you would have seen thousands of advertisements or messages related to COVID actually. There is a beautiful ad by Tanishk recently with a COVID theme wherein the teacher you know uh, uh, wearing a mask goes to the class after so many weeks meets her students for the first time offline after so much of gap and students are also wearing masks and those beautiful young girls they want to hug their teacher and uh, you know somehow COVID protocols we they, they you know we feel restrained to do that. So, you know they, they uh, put up a gesture of hugging each other from a distance and there Tanishk comes in you know kind of. So, those kind of beautiful advertisements with beautiful messages well, we all know that COVID generates you know uh, kind of a thought process in us and, and we are going for several kinds of retrospective thoughts and uh, you know analysis related to that what, what uh, wrong we have done and what better we can do and so on. But this type of an element or storyboard wherein you know students have been waiting for the teacher and so on. So, so how, how do we reach to these kind of messages and then how do we try to think that this would work, how we reach to that uh, you know stage wherein we just send it knowing that it is going to work and that is where integrated marketing communication research comes in. So, as I said development, execution through what kinds of modes, how it would be more effective and so on and then evaluation, did it work or no. So, all this is a matter of research and then there is always an accompanying kind of a task which IMC research does. It keeps on strengthening our, our uh, you know linkage with the target customer you know in, in terms of determination of our target customers. This is these are our target customers because whenever we are thinking in terms of touching the cords of, and the minds of people and, and modes we are always working upon that 
these are the people whom we want to reach and, and that, that always is an ongoing kind of a process. And then you know to understand the respondents or, or our viewers or our target customers we may say audience well. Because when we send a message an immediate response level gets initiated and that is where we keep we start assessing on you know how, how well it is working. Because there are several stages wherein we can think of rejuvenating the message, re-strengthening the message, repositioning the message, uh, restructuring the modes and so on. But how we would know? Research. And then there is another important element and these are not in, in, a, in a sequential manner wherein I am talking to right now, but, but there is another important element which is related to should we go ahead with this? You have a beautiful advertisement developed, should we go ahead with this? And after putting it there, when to pull it back? Not just because it, it did not work so well, but there is another storyboard which can be sequentially sent or there is, a, there is another message which can be sequentially sent to strengthen the earlier message. Or first message was destined to be related to you know that particular period of time for example festivals are coming you see 2020 we did not celebrate many festivals so we did not go for so many kinds of advertisements related to festivals although we send messages for online shopping and so on wherein we sort of rejuvenated the thought of uh, festivals amongst the people while trying not to make them conscious of you know that situation wherein we are not celebrating just to tell them that you know festival season is there but we we have to you know stay under restraint but now things are changing today we are saying that go and celebrate and but with caution so so you see 2020 and this is 2021 wherein change of our message comes in and, and that is what I am referring to when we say that, that when to pull a particular kind of a message and when to put up another kind of a message and so on or, or let us uh, let us say when to pull the message in half or when to pull it from a particular kind of a mode and uh, let the other mode take over completely beyond a certain point. So, again this comes through our ongoing research related to IMC and then evaluation of effort. Because if we do not know how did it work, we might not be able to allocate another budget or we might not be able to first, for, first of all we might not be able to negotiate that budget with the organizational heads and so on and, and uh, they would say everything was good, everything was fine but it did not work well. So, I'm sorry you know kind of after all it, it has to come from somewhere. So, so those kind of you see that is where uh, effectiveness has to be. Uh, found out and put up in front of the uh, organizational heads and next definitely to take a call on how to take it further. So, this is you know largely uh, when we say why to go for integrated marketing communication and remember three things efforts, resources, specially financial and then the impact which we desire for and most importantly several others are looking for the same target remember this. Now, there are you know specific key issues related to research and these are very relevant aspects reliability. We all know the meaning of reliability, but just to re-strengthen it for you in terms of integrated marketing communication research wherein you see it means that the method you engage should produce consistent findings over time. Now, here there is an important thing for us to realize that it can happen to an extent. So, reliability is not to be seen with an everlasting kind of a thing basically you see. For example, we go for a particular kind of a sample studying those people together for a specific objective and a purpose 
with a specific problem statement in mind. Knowing about for example, that we have an X communication in mind, let us say a communication with an emotional appeal because we started with this example. So, I am carrying it forward and that emotional appeal aspect we have to you know analyze in terms of you know up till what extent it would go on or would it go on for specific occasions or it can be associated with you know the entire life of a person. So, so looking into such kind of kinds of aspects or, or you know problem statements, we can think in terms of deciding the extent or the time frame of as far as the element of reliability goes. Never take reliability that we have engaged a particular kind of a method, we have gone for a particular kind of a sample and uh, we have brought in these kind of results and you know for example, this kind of advertisement should be made developed or uh, executed through this, this this kind of a mode. For example, sports related to a soft drink will work. Now, this has this is the conclusion and you have initiated a process of uh, developing uh, an advertisement of a soft drink with in relation to sports. Would it work forever? Must not be seen as a sacrosanct kind of an outcome because that was specifically for a particular kind of an audience and the preference of the audience, the perspective of the audience, the perspective of the consumer might change or might get diverted towards something which they would feel more relevant to in due course of time. For example, defense forces, their valor, their, their strength or that era may belong to you know something else wherein people might be having some you know something else in mind. So, so reliability is related to extent as well. Then comes in validity. Now, you see the information generated is relevant to the research questions being investigated. Now, again there are several aspects to it and, and because this is not a research methodology or marketing research uh, class basically. So, I would not you know keep on elaborating on uh, these aspects, but just to give you a perspective research questions must you know have relevant answers or, or information generated must be relevant to the research questions being investigated. Who is asking that research question? To whom the question is being asked? So, those kind of things have to be kept in mind. And have we asked that question in a relevant manner so that it is well understood or interpreted by our respondent basically. For example, if I ask someone that do you like sports? Yes. And India if you ask this question to uh, you know largely many people do you like cricket? The answer definitely would be yes. And would you like that if I put up a soft drink advertisement? in relation to a cricketer and cricket people would largely say yes. But then we have to interpret that understanding of the customer while asking that question and once he answers we have to interpret it rightly. There comes the element of you know as far as the validity goes. So, you see as, as this discussion is proceeding we must understand that it may also depend upon the execution later on how well that thought is converted because because might be after a particular kind of a stage people would say that uh, you know market response was not very relevant in terms of the questions which we we tried to ask so so market response was not relevant may also be seen in the light of how well we actually interpreted and executed that market response. So, that is how and then comes in trustworthiness. Does the data seem to make sense? You have so much in front of you, but then most important is that what is the source of data? Whom you have asked the question? Did you find the right 
right respondent who would be the target in terms of integrated marketing communication. Remember one thing, it is a it is a very important point for you to remember. In research associated with integrated marketing communication, your respondent largely is your target customer as well. Because if you come to me and I am not the target customer for, for let us say an uh, automotive, I may be able to answer your questions well and there you know everything seems to be befitting the situation kind of, but I might not be the buyer actually. So, I may be the respondent, but I am not I, I may not be the target customer and that is that will create a void a gap. So, prospective target in terms of respondent has to be matched and that is a very big and important exercise. You just cannot go for randomly asking people things and you see at this moment I would not reiterate as, as I have been uh, time and again telling you uh, during this uh, complete course that I am uh, not willing to point out the failures at large. But I would be keep on uh, would keeping on uh, you know uh, would be reminding you about the elements which may cause failure. So, remember any product which or, or let us say any message which did not do well in terms of conversion of that message into sales for example. Remember at this moment you can you can find out so many. So, you can find out beautiful advertisements and messages, but they did not work somehow, they, they did not pull the customers. You can find uh, those kind of messages in terms of biscuits, chocolates, uh, jewelry, watches, automotives, apparels, shoes or, or any other form of footwear, eyeglasses, sunglasses, whichever way you want to look at it. And while looking into those messages, you would realize that those were good, yes, but they did not work. So, this can be one of those reasons actually, the respondent and the target customer. And then comes in meaningfulness, this whole exercise is for meaningfulness actually. So, you see an assessment of limitation of data. And you see why, why is this question of meaningfulness relevant basically? Because ultimately when, when I said that we have to think, find, analyze and conclude and then we enumerated so many reasons. We must remember that throughout this process of thinking, finding, analyzing and concluding, we have to keep meaningfulness in, in uh, during the whole process actually. We have to keep this element alive in continuity as far as the complete process goes. We must remind ourselves the kind of questions we are thinking, thinking about are meaningful or no. We have to remind ourselves the method through which we are approaching the data are meaningful or no. We have to remind ourselves the respondents would be adding meaningfully or no and then we have to remind ourselves that our analysis would be giving us meaningful results or no. So, meaningfulness you know is just all through basically and that is how we must assess it. Now, coming to the element of purpose of research, most important touching the hearts is important ladies and gentlemen and this mesmerizing world of IMC is actually about touching the hearts of people because once you enter there, you remain there, you motivate them to move towards the purpose of IMC whether you call it in terms of products, you call it in terms of getting associated with an organization or you, you uh, try to think in terms of you know for example, an organization is seeking for an employee and they want to put it up in front of them. Recently, I was talking to uh, you know 
uh, the head one of the heads of a very large organization and he said that finding relevant people good people is is you know very difficult nowadays so i said why don't you go for integrated marketing communication actually he said people know about my organization i said people know about your organization but people do not know that how happy they would feel while working with your organization actually what kind of prospects they would find in your organization what kind of uh, facilities they would find would their families be happy working with your organization or no because because they would also be the part of your organization so so do do they at all know that what kind of a life they are choosing along with you in terms of being with that particular kind of an organization and and how do you do that through integrated marketing communication but how do you find about what kind of message would you tell such kind of a prospective employee by going for a research in terms of communication so touching the hearts is important and then comes in idea generation that this is how you know i have to talk about something you know some some image clicks some words click and and you know you get those as i said from your target customer or your target employee or your target investor you you get those from why why would someone be happy in investing in your organization why why should he rely upon you so you have to find out that why would he rely on you and then you have to send a message to him so idea generation related to what he would like to hear from you then concept testing wherein you know you have to seek the feedback to screen the quality of new ideas or new concept because you are structuring those you have to test those again the same target would be you know touched upon or or you have to ask the same target that how is it working is it working or no and there are several methods of going for that so so we may touch upon few of those methods as well in due course of time probably in next session and then audience definition you know once a target segment has has been identified imc planning can proceed with developing a message that will be meaningful to the consumers so that is how we have to go ahead and then audience profiling creatives must know you know that whom their communication will speak to so you see we have been tar- uh, talking about target time and again but profiling of that target actually structuring who's that target you know actually imagining that target in front of you as if you are talking to someone and that is where audience profile comes in basically as i said continuing from the same example you are trying to attract someone for uh, working with your particular organization you have someone in mind you know he is a very learned person he has had he has been having good grades he is a good human being he has leadership characteristics this and that so you are trying to imagine this may sound like some job description but again you know you are trying to structuralize kind of for example you are thinking in terms of jewelry you are thinking in terms of traditional jewelry if you are thinking in terms of traditional jewelry some college going girl might not be the target basically you know a newly married woman can be depends upon would she be accepting that traditional design uh, or or those kinds of designs which you are thinking about at this moment or you are thinking in terms of a woman who has passed few stages of her marriage life and her children are growing and she now wants to carry forward the legacy which has been passed on to her by her mother in law and mother and you know uh, the elder women of the family and the clan at this particular stage she might be liking that kind of a traditional design based kind of a jewelry so that is where audience profiling comes in because if you are targeting you know someone of uh, the age of my daughter for example tradition she might love but then as far as her particular usage goes so some ongoing trends might be more attractive for her so that is where you know largely 
do you put up this kind of a thing. So, to just to summarize thinking, finding, analyzing and concluding that is the sole purpose of integrated marketing communication research. I will be coming back to you with you know some methods and further crystallization of what we have discussed during this session and the sole purpose of talking about integrated marketing communication research is to understand that effectiveness of the message can only be brought in if we work upon that beforehand through a structured or a reflexive research perspective. Goodbye for now, see you in the next session.